Aaron Nagler here for SI.com. I'm here with Andrew Perloff, and we've got Chris Burke in Detroit. We're talking about coaching decisions gone awry. Uh, every week, you see it in the NFL, either from your couch or at the bar, wherever you're watching, coaches doing things that you just can't understand. To me, I, I'm going to leave this off with, with Mike Tomlin punting in the fourth quarter of a game that he's got to have on mm. the road and literally giving up in front of a national audience. That just blew my mind. Well, you, I know as a fact, you always hate punting in the uh, opponent's Fourth territory. quarter, you're losing by yeah. more than two scores. Get the first down. Oh, I'm, I'm a go for it guy. I don't even, you don't have to talk about Tomlin. I think we're going to hit this throughout the year and definitely be aggressive on fourth down. But, you know, that's not why they lost that game. It's not why they lost, yeah. but it's a component in it. All right. They still had a chance, and then he gave up. I mean, a coach gave up. That drives me nuts. Drives me to distraction. Chris, what do you think? What jumped out at you week two as far as coaching decisions uh, that were questionable, to say the least? Hey, they also punted on a fourth and eight or nine right before halftime in Baltimore territory. So uh, you. you had another one there. You could have gone for it. Uh, I mean, I think you, for me, I look at Minnesota and not just that Matt Castle started and played all week two. They are obviously coming off a big win in week one, but he threw four interceptions today and the Vikings, they came out immediately right after and said, he's going to be the starter moving forward. I think that's a mistake. I think you've got to at least give Teddy Bridgewater the motivation to go out there this week with the, the thought he could win the job and start in week three. I don't think Matt Castle did anything today to justify staying in that game, first of all, but then having the job locked down beyond Sunday. I, I just I don't see the benefit of sticking with Castle when he's struggling the way he did. Yeah, I'm going to jump right on what you're saying and take the same lesson for Jacksonville. Oh, man. Not going to Blake Bortles, which we had as a week one coaching mistake. <laughs> but, I mean, all right, here's the argument that Jacksonville was making that uh, the offensive line was so bad they're going to get their prize rookie killed. You know, people were saying that. That might be true, but I still thought Henny held on to the ball too long. He did. I thought he yeah. almost initiated contact in a couple plays. I, I love Bortles just that he just had a sort of a sixth sense around people at his feet. I thought he would have handled it much better. Well, he's just I think he's athletic. Time. He's I big. He, can get, he pushed the ball down yeah. the field. He's got a much more live arm. Get him out there. I'm, and get Teddy out there, too. I'm, I'm with you guys. Yeah. Get the rookies out there. Wait, did we not mention the Jets? I was going to say, I can't believe we've gotten this far. Is that just too mentioned. obvious? No, here we go. Marty Morgan cannot call a timeout. That is the rule, yet he did. And Rex Ryan swears blind that he, Rex Ryan, didn't call a timeout. But we've got video of Marty running up the sideline screaming for a timeout. So do we put that on Rex or do we put that on Marty? Or on the refs. Do you put it on the ref? No, all right, all right. I'll, ta I'll take that. I mean, I, I don't, personally. I think Marty <laughs> needs to know the rule. It looked like Sheldon Richardson saw Marty calling for the timeout, so he stepped up. I don't know. I mean, it, it certainly looked a lot worse, obviously, that they happened to throw a game-tying touchdown split second after yeah. whoever called that timeout called it. You're right. It was a Minimal. fluke to start with. It was a fluke the way it went down. And also, you know, it's not an accident the Jets – screwed up a few timeouts earlier and were oh, out they, of timeouts. Exactly. They're down and, you know, they had those ejections. They were definitely not disciplined in this game. They definitely saw well, some Well, they huge... lost their cool. They went up early, yeah. and then they, they gave the lead away, and they absolutely they kind of and fell apart there. The coaching end. staff lost its cool, too? Absolutely. Problems on the sideline. All right, for SI.com, Chris Burke in Detroit, Andrew Perloff, I'm Aaron Nagler.